uh, Michaela uh, with us today on PAP TV and uh, want to be able to share her experience with you in the world. So Michaela, thank you again for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. No worries, no worries. Michaela, if you could uh, tell us your first and last name, please. Yeah, my name is Michaela Sullivan. Okay, all right. And Michaela, where, where are you from? I am from Wauwatosa, Wisconsin. So right here in the area. All right, very good. Greater Milwaukee, I get it. I get it, Wauwatosa. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And you went to grade school and middle school in Wauwatosa as well? Yeah, I went to St. John's Lutheran School, which is in Wauwatosa. Okay, okay. And you went to grade school and middle school there? Uh, yeah, it was okay. a K to eight school. Okay, okay, very good, very good. And while there, uh, did you play any sports or were you involved in any extracurricular activities? I know you had a 4.0, but uh, <laughs> what else went along with that? Um, I actually Irish danced in all through <laughs> middle school. Um, I didn't start cross country and track until seventh grade. Um, but yeah, I wasn't really involved in too many other sports. You know, but Irish dance is a sport. I, I was a child, not to deter, but for those of you who are watching, when I was probably about uh, 12 years old and 13, I got a chance to see two concerts that I asked my mother for. One was the Irish Dance Company that used to come to Milwaukee, and it was it was epic. I mean, they were just stomping and kicking their legs around, and it was just a lot of energy. And the other was, uh, you know, B.B. King. So to know you did the Irish Dance, I mean, what company did you do that with, if you don't mind just asking? Um, Trinity, Trinity Irish Dance. It was in Milwaukee. Wow, how many years? Uh, five. Wow, you still got it? Uh, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little bit. I could probably still manage to do a jig, and that's probably about it. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. Well, that's great. If you if you don't know anything about Irish dancing, please Google it. It's awesome. We may even have to dub in a, a video of, uh, of you or someone Irish dancing so people can really get the full perspective of what it's like. Um, okay, so you you did Irish dancing, you're tearing it up, you're walking in class, kicking your legs around, like, yes, this is great. Uh, then you went into, yeah, into high school. And then what, what was the uh, experience there like? Um, it was really good. I went to Wisconsin Lutheran High School, absolutely loved it. Okay. Um, had was involved in a lot of different things. Um, so continued cross country and track. Um, I had also like started piano when I was younger. And so I played piano since I was about five. Um, so continued that. Um, I attended a lot of different mission trips, was involved in a lot of different volunteer groups um, that we just tried to help people in the community and different organizations. Um, I was involved in our book club and our steel pan group. Um, and then also did concert band my senior year. Um, and then I was also in National Honor Society my senior year as well. Wow. I mean, you're quite busy. That's, that's uh, quite a schedule. I'm sorry. Yeah. It sounds like you had your mom and dad running all over the state, you know, taking you from Irish dance to piano to cross country, the whole nine. Yeah. I mean, uh, naturally, that I'm thinking that probably taught you a lot about time management and being organized, right? Yep. I never started homework until like 7 p.m. Wow. So um, we had a lot of late nights, yeah. but it was good <laughs> lessons on time management. Now in college and I have like a lot more time on my hands, I like can get a good amount of sleep and manage it well. Okay. Okay. Very good. And, mm -hmm. and since you mentioned college, what college are you attending? Yeah, I go to Wisconsin Lutheran College, which is also in Milwaukee. Okay. Okay. Very good. And that was that the only school that you applied to? No, um, I also looked a lot into Loyola in Chicago yeah. and the University of Arizona. And then um, I had actually looked at transferring after freshman year. Um, so I'd also looked at Grand Valley State, um, University of Arizona again, and then um, a couple other schools as well. Interesting. I'm familiar with, with all of those schools that you mentioned. Um, especially Loyola, we had a few people go to Loyola, including my niece. Uh, oh, wow. There. Yeah, she loved it. She, I mean, you know, yeah, she loved that it. That was so, my dream school. Oh, well, well, now you're, you're <laughs> for Wisconsin Lutheran. Let's hold it up. That's yep. your dream school now. We're representing, yeah. uh, which is, which is really good. And your experience at Wisconsin Lutheran, what are you studying right now? I'm studying psychology and Spanish. Okay, very good. And what year? I'm a sophomore. 
Okay, very good, very good. Now, uh, there, are you involved in any uh, um, uh, activities, fellowship of Christian athletes? Uh, what are you, how are you engaged at, at Wisconsin Lutheran? Yeah, I'm a student athlete. I run cross country and track still. Um, and then I'm also in our ambassador club. So I give tours to prospective students and families. Um, and then that's about it, I think. Okay. I'm still very involved in my church as well. Very good, very good. What church do you attend? St. Marcus Lutheran Church. Okay, where's St. Marcus? Uh, it's inner city on like first and north. First and north, that's right, that's right. I was gonna, I was gonna call Paris, I know where it is. <laughs> hey, Michaela I'm doesn't know sure where, that's you where it is. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful, beautiful church. It really is a beautiful space, great school. Uh, that's really awesome that, that uh, you know, even though your family's in Tulsa, that you guys, you know, are going to school in the city, are going to church in the city and supporting that that uh, parish and, and those students, I think it's beautiful. So, uh, Michaela, you're a sophomore in school now. Obviously, you're thinking about, okay, where where's the future hold uh, from our previous conversations? Uh, we, we met uh, years ago when you were a flag rugby player competing uh, against Pep Nation for Alba Tulsa. Um, where what's what's Michaela's uh you know short term plan here before graduation? What what what's happening? Um, before graduation, obviously, like I'll keep up on my studies and everything. Um, but my goal is to just like be as in, as involved as I possibly can. Um, honestly, like getting experience within my field, doing research, um, being involved in the community, volunteering, giving back, um, and uh, just becoming more knowledgeable about so many different like life skills and um, applications. Very good. Well, I mean, it's, it sounds like that, you, you know, you're, you're definitely looking to grow and, and, and expand and, you know, uh, you know, so, so with that, um, what's Michaela's three to five year goal? I mean, you're sophomore in school. I know when I was a sophomore in school, I was thinking about my, three hour goal to get to the lunchroom, you know, the cafeteria so I can eat. So what is what is Michaela's three to five year goal? Where, you know, you'll be out of, out of college at that time, undergrad, where do you wanna go? What do you wanna do? Yeah, um, currently educationally, um, after I graduate uh, with my undergrad in psychology and Spanish, I hope to attend graduate school um, to further my education there by getting my master's and PhD in sports psychology. Um, and then athletically, um, I will still be having some eligibility left over after undergrad. Um, so I hope to run wherever I go to grad school. Um, and my main goal athletically is to compete at nationals um, before I graduate WLC. So that's awesome. Those are kind of my goals right now. <laughs> oh, hey, those are great goals to have. And, and uh, thank you for, for sharing them. And, and like I said, the, the purpose of this before we got on this call is to, you know, share your 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 dreams, your goals, your paths, your trajectory, and, and so that others can possibly follow suit and, and go in the same direction as you and, and, and become successful. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to be successful. I, I am going to spill the beans and let people know that you're going to be working with Pet Nation, which is great. We got another Wisconsin Lutheran on the board, uh, uh, on the team, and, and uh, we're, we're forever thankful for you to be a part. Um, any advice, sound advice that you can give to a young person that's, you know, coming out of high school, getting ready to go to college, um, you know, uh, how to, to make this happen, especially with COVID happening right now, just a different world. Yeah, I've given a lot of tours to um, high school students recently, and I get that question a lot. And my biggest piece of advice coming from like someone who really struggled their freshman year of college is to um, try to have fun. Like it's an adjustment period. It's a really hard transition for anyone, whether you go far away from home or whether you're like right in the area where you grew up. Um, and it's a whole new environment for everyone. Like you have new teachers, you have um, new teammates, new coaches, um, a new family, you're living totally on your own. And it's hard, like some people adjust really quickly and other people take a really long time to adjust, but get involved, um, do things that make you happy. Like I have a list that I check off every day of things that I need to focus on myself for. Um, and 
yeah, just have fun, like do things that you enjoy. Um, don't be afraid to continue those things. And like the things that you enjoy, like you should have time to do. Um, you, yeah, you do have to go to school and you do have a lot of priorities, but um, take time for yourself every day and for your friends and family. Sound advice from uh, Michaela uh, Sullivan. Thank you so much for joining us uh, here on PEP TV. And we look forward to following your journey and learning more about uh, your success here in the near future. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome. So that was really good. So 